Greetings. It happens to be a hot day on the farm, which is either good, neither good nor bad for us. We embrace both rain and sunshine as it comes. Um, yesterday, a friend of mine, uh, my brother and business partner, Isaac Ijuka, called me asking me to send him pictures of the farm, which is quite perfect timing for me because after finishing with the back-breaking work that we've been doing on the farm over the past now six months, uh, I think it's only fair that we grow our equity from merely land, infrastructure, and customers to, most importantly, information. Uh, he called me at a time when I thought about doing what you'd call vlogs or videos that I intended to save as history on a YouTube channel for other people to see and learn from. Uh, follow uh, our progress and process of the work that we are doing over here. So this happens to be the very first video that I'm, I'm shooting on my mobile phone. Um, uh, I hadn't determined to have any cattle in here, but it just so happens that there's a few behind me uh, <laughs> that I'll show you over the course of the next several months. Oh as and when I release anything for you to watch. Uh, I'm standing here particularly because I wanted to show you this. This, we call it a crush here, but it's a holding area for cattle. Very simple, made out of logs or poles, logs and poles that I built in November. Uh, we use it to, we use it to spray the animals uh, against preventively in a preventive way against ticks and other uh, ailments that we're trying to hold from infecting animals with disease. Uh, we spray cattle, we spray goats, we spray pigs, we spray pets like dogs uh, and the cat, kittens. Uh, we, we, when I came here, I realized it was because um, uh, I wasn't impressed that there were several animals which were dying from things that we could have stopped. Uh, we'd lost about 10 animals, cattle that is, cows, in about a year or less, and I wasn't impressed by that statistic. So I came rushing in, uh, kind of desperate, trying to stop all that, uh, which is how I went across the field, across the board, and built new kinds of infrastructure for the piggery, for cattle, for goods, uh, for poetry, as I'll be showing you. Uh, this in particular happens to be close to our world. We've also redone all the worlds. Uh, the contrast, if you can see this quite well, it's just a cross section of it, you can see there's a very uh, significant difference between this and the old one which is right over here see i can't even hold anything in here but uh as of now it has been split apart for firewood <laughs> by the locals who crisscross through the farm when we are not available um, this is just an example of the things that i've been able to do i hope i will be able to deliver as often as possible with information, uh, sharing with you what we've been able to do uh, in respect to breeding of animals, in respect to medication of the animals, their grading, uh, their treatment, uh, employment, work ethic, uh, improvement of margins of the products that we sell here, for example, milk uh, by our local standards, uh, our relationship with our customers, our employees and our neighbors. Uh, from me to you for now, cheers.